Got the uh, ver vertical stabilizer going in now. Just got a bunch of tape uh, holding it on to keep it in the right position. And then that carbon fiber spar that was glued into it and that extended out of it, it was glued into a slot that went down into the tail of the fuselage there and through the horizontal stabilizer. So it should be pretty strong once it's done drying. So here's the airfoil templates that I'll be using to cut out the wings. I've got the two of the big ones and then one smaller one. I did redesign the larger ones from what you saw in the first update video. The first one that I made was this one and uh, it was based off of the Clark Y airfoil exactly but it was too tall for this one inch foam and I don't have any thicker foam so I just kind of squashed it down so that it's a little bit less than one inch so it fits on there so that's what I'll be using those two for. So I have two of these big ones for cutting out the two square pieces of the wing. So essentially we'll have this, we'll have the two square pieces. This middle piece isn't going to have the airfoil because that's going to go over top of the cockpit area. It'll be shaped later. And then we have the two tapered pieces for the wing tips. And that's why I have a smaller one. So it's going to go out here and then I'll use one of the big ones here to cut that. So I'm just going to use some nails to hold them onto the foam. I have pre pre-made holes on there in the template. And then I use my hot wire cutter to uh, cut it out. Here's the uh, part of the wing that goes over top of the fuselage, the cockpit. So I just kind of shaped just the top portion of it and I left the bottom flat and the front and the back flat and square so that it would fit into this um, cutout. And then I'll, once I get the wing all glued together I'll sand it over it so that it blends together well. And the plan is that I'm going to have two dowels, what well, probably carbon fiber rods actually, um, that go through the front and back that then I'll wrap the rubber bands around that actually hold the wing on. Here's the full wing to so all five sections. So now the next step is that I'm going to sand the edges of them so that they all are flat and square for, for, uh, before I glue them together. And then I'll probably, I'm going to glue the two outer pieces together flat and then I'm going to add a little bit of dihedral between those and the middle piece to give it a little bit of dihedral. So now the two wing halves are glued together, um, like the two sections of each wing half are glued together and the glue's dry. So now I'm going to glue them to the center piece. So I want to add a little bit of dihedral, so I'm just going to sand it just slightly at an angle. And then I'll put some, I'll put a, uh, like a spacer underneath the wing tip at the same spot on each side that's the same height to prop up the wing tips while it dries. And then hopefully the dihedral angle will stay like that. So I put some books on here and uh, I popped it up with just a half inch piece of foam on the wing tip. So I'll let that dry and then I'll do the other half. Alright, so I've got the uh, hinges and everything set in place. I haven't glued them in yet, but when I do glue them in, I will be just sliding them out a little bit like that and just putting a little bead of hot glue on each side and then sliding it back in. 
And then I'll probably wipe off any glue that gets on the actual rotating part of the hinge. So you just need a little bit. It's already a pretty tight fit without any glue at all. And realistically, it probably wouldn't fall off, but just add a little bit of glue and that, that helps it. So I, I had to cut out this circle, circular part of the rudder so that the elevator would be able to have its full range of motion and the rudder would have its full range of motion. It looks all right, I guess, but I'm not the biggest fan of doing it like that. Um, but that's the best way I could come up with. So the bottom kind of looks weird just because there's such a big hole there, but we'll see once I actually fly it if the elevator isn't needed to move so much. Uh, I could put a piece of foam in there and uh, make it not such a big circle. And I've got the two wing halves glued together now to the center section. There's just a little area where the glue didn't quite fill in the gap, so I just put an extra little bit of uh, Gorilla Glue in there and I'm just holding that down while that dries just to fill in the gap. But the wing's glued together now. Um, you can't really tell that there's any dihedral yet, but angling the wingtips up a little bit gave it a little bit of an upward tendency. So once I glue in the spars, um, I'll angle it up a lot more, so then when it actually dries, it'll have a little bit of dihedral angle. I will be cutting off probably like a quarter inch off the trailing edge. Um, that's what I always do because the wings get so thin that it, it's going to break off anyways if I leave it like that. So I'll just uh, cut it off and then sand it to make it round. Probably not the best aerodynamically, but I mean these planes aren't going that fast anyways. So that's all for this week. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed this, please check out the other videos and I'll see you in the next one.